Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Southern Dirt. My name is Summer and today I'll be going over all the seeds and the transplants that you can put in your garden right now in October. But before we get started, I wanted to invite you to a workshop that I have here at our farm and garden. It's a propagation workshop, which will be on November 13th. You can register on my website, which I'll put in the description below. I'm also now offering a farm stay here at our farm and garden. You can check out the details by clicking on farm stay on my website, and I'll put that in the description below as well. At the end of this video, I'll be giving you an update and tour of our pumpkin patch to show you how that's doing. I'll also be going over all the seeds and the seedlings that I'm putting into my garden right now so you can follow along this season. I'm also gonna give you an update on this beautiful green stock garden that I have here and how it's growing and how much I love it. Um, you can save $10 off this garden tower and I'll put that link in the description below. So now I'm gonna go over all the seeds and transplants that you can put in your garden right now in October. We're gonna start with 9A. We can plant arugula, beets, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, carrots, cauliflower, celery, Chinese cabbage, collards, endive, kale, kohlrabi, lettuce, mustards, onions, radish, spinach, squash, strawberry, swish chard, and turnips. I'm actually ordering another one of these towers and I'm going to put strawberry plants in them. I cannot wait to do that. It's a perfect tower to grow strawberries on. In 9B, I will be planting in my garden, that's where my location is, um, arugula, beets for sure, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, cauliflower, a lot of these things I already have planted, celery, Chinese cabbage, collards, endive, kale, kohlrabi, lettuce, mustards, onions, radishes, spinach, strawberry, Swiss chard, turnips, and pineapples. So here's all the seeds that I'm going to be planting right now. A lot of these I have already planted in the garden. I'm just doing a second sowing. So I'm going to do some more carrots. Also gonna start some more cabbage. Um, I have not started this particular lettuce yet. It says salad bowl. I've never grown that before. Um, my celery I planted almost a month ago and one is starting to come up. So I'm definitely going to try and plant more of those. Um, I do see that they take quite some time to germinate. It says 14 to 21 days, <laughs> which is well over that. I almost gave up on those. Beets, thanks to one of my subscribers on my last video, said to wait on these. So I'm going to be doing these, uh, planting these this month. I'm also gonna do some French dressing, direct sowing them, do these fun ruby red eclipse sunflowers. I'm also gonna do some bok choy. I did end up finding um, some bok choy and I'm gonna do another planting of those along with another planting of kohlrabi. And we're gonna start some broccoli seeds and zinnia seeds. Um, I also have other seeds for sale that are homegrown um, and or organic. So if you want to see any of my products, you can go to the website um, and I will put my website in the description below. It's just southerndirtfarmandgarden.com where you can purchase those. So now I'm gonna give you an update of how my green stock garden is growing. I installed this about a few months ago and I have been absolutely loving it. It's so beautiful. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space. You can grow 30 plants in just four square feet. So if you live in a apartment complex or have a small patio area, you can grow 30 different plants in this small area. So down at the bottom, I have some squash and zucchini. I actually have a little baby squash down here, as you can see actually self-pollinated that one this morning because I did lose a few um, earlier last week. I've got some marigolds, some succulents. I just actually planted a uh, mini bell tomato. Those are a container, very small, short stacked um, tomato variety. 
that I actually wanted to put in here because I did put a contain container variety tomato that is doing fine. It's just kind of hanging, hanging down over here. I do have some fruit on it and I thought it would look prettier with shorter uh, tomato plants in here. I have some basil, which I've already been harvesting a lot from. I have some mint, another uh, pepper here that is starting to flower. I got some little flower blood buds up here. We've got some more marigolds, some thyme, and I've got some cute little succulents. We also have some cilantro that I've been using. I have more succulents back here. We have some more English thyme. I've got some rosemary back here. And I also have some succulents back here. And the reason I planted succulents back here is because I had the space and I really didn't know what to grow back here um, that didn't require a whole lot of sun. So succulents are always a great choice for that. Um, I'm thinking I'm actually gonna move this over here. And I just purchased some raised beds. I can't wait to show you guys those. I'll actually be assembling them in my next video and show you how easy it is to assemble um, raised beds. And we'll be most likely getting rid of this one or hanging on to it just to kind of see how long it lasts um, compared to our green stock garden. So here are all my little seedlings. Most of these are ready to go into the garden. I will be putting most of these into the garden this weekend. Now I do have some sweet banana peppers here. I also started some, um, they are called mini bell tomatoes. They're a shorter variety of tomatoes, which I'll put in my green stock garden. Um, I also have some baits, they're collards. And I have Southern, uh, Georgia Southern collards as well. We've got dinosaur kale. I also have some blue dazzling kale. I grew all of these last year. We've got red romaine and just regular romaine. Uh, my kids and I found this really cool flower. It's called foxglove. We're going to give it a try this year. I also have some kohlrabi, some butter crunch over there, um, and some more bok choy. We also have some dwarf blue um, curled vase. I started some cabbage. Here's my celery. <laughs> and I think there's just one finally starting to come up out of all of these, actually two. And um, so we're gonna definitely plant some more there. Um, I have some Swiss chard. And then I have an entire tray of Black Seed Simpson lettuce over here and an entire tray of Siberian kale. Now my daughter's also planted a bunch of seeds over here I'll show you. So she actually participated in one of our seed starting classes about a month ago and these are well over the time that they had needed to go into the garden. Um, we just have some squash and zucchini. I'm gonna actually let her plant them in her little fairy garden. I got a couple cheap baskets at the Dollar Tree and we're gonna let her and my other daughter plant them we also have some eggplants that we'll be putting into the garden along with some sunflowers that are well beyond ready to go in the garden. And she also planted some zinnias, so those will be ready to go. I've also been propagating a lot of succulents um, recently, so that's been fun. I also have been propagating some lychees and mint basil. Um, some other type of basil, I'm sorry, oregano, <laughs> two different types of oregano, strawberries, and rosemary. So we'll see how those all come out. So our garden looks extremely bare, but we do have some tiny plants that you can't see. I'm going to take you over there. So I do have some carrots finally sprouting. I did plant some carrots back in August, which never ended up sprouting. So I did another planting in September and thankfully they did sprout. So I have this entire row of carrots now planted. Over here we have green beans. I have my first planting over here. And then about two and a half weeks later, I did a second planting. So we'll have 
green beans back to back. Over here I have a row of sunflowers and another row of sunflowers that are smaller. These were planted earlier. I have put my tomatoes in the ground. These are actually called Money Maker. This is actually from a subscriber that had told me about another Florida variety that grows well. So I thought I'd give it a try. I also have cucumbers over here planted and I have always killed cucumber plants. So I thought I'd give them another try and see if we cannot grow them. Um, my youngest daughter absolutely loves cucumbers. So she said she would help me grow them. So we're gonna give it another try. So here's our little pumpkin patch. It's in our front yard, right in the vineyard here. So we have about 22 plants and most of these plants were planted in the beginning of May and then I also did another set towards the end um, at the end of May. So I just wanted to give you an update, go through here and maybe find a few pumpkins. I've already been harvesting um, a few out of here. There we have one and there's a little one starting. You can see some more starting over here. Now, if you have never grown Seminole pumpkins, they grow wonderful here in Florida. They're actually a native pumpkin, and I do have seeds for sale. I've been saving them over the past couple years. I absolutely love them. They're a survival food. Here we go. Some more here. And another one starting. I actually still have some in my pantry from last season. That's how well these last. Um, especially when the pandemic hit, I was looking for some kind of survival food. I found these Seminole pumpkins and thankfully I had a sweet friend that ended up sending a pumpkin over to me and um, I ended up saving the seeds from that and started our little pumpkin patch. And as you can see, these plants here are much younger, but they are just now starting to produce as well. Now you can harvest these when they are green and they taste more like a zucchini. Um, I like to wait till they're actually all the way yellow. And um, we go ahead and put them in the pantry and store them for the year. There's so many things you can do with Seminole pumpkins. They're absolutely delicious. And I also put a video together on how to care for your Seminole pumpkins and how um, to plant them. I'll put that in the link. I'll put that link in the description below. So here's another area where I did not purposely plant pumpkins. They're actually coming out of my compost. I must have thrown a seminal pumpkin into my compost and it started growing this beautiful vine. So I just kind of let it be. And I've got amazing looking seminal pumpkins growing over here. I almost think I want to purposely grow them here from now on because they're just doing so well. And they climbed up this little area here to keep them off the ground. And now I'll go show you our seminal pumpkin patch in our front yard. So there's also another pumpkin vine growing over here by our chicken coop. Um, we always like to feed our chickens some of the seeds and thankfully some have germinated over here and have climbed up into these trees and actually have a couple pumpkins. I wonder if you can see them growing right over there and they look so beautiful. Now these are not hooked up to any irrigation so they're just growing wild and I'm not treating them with anything and they're still producing so that goes to show you they are an awesome pumpkin to grow and I do have seeds for sale. Guys, I'm really excited to show you these. I have been dreaming about having raised bed gardens forever since before I even started gardening. So for a total of seven years now, I've been begging my husband to build them for me, but he knows that they will not last. <laughs> and thankfully I found a product that has a 20 year life guarantee and I absolutely love the beauty of these. So I'll be showing you guys these in another video, but I do have an affiliate link if you wanna check it out. You can actually save 5% off your order if you use my link. I do make a small commission off of them, 
Um, I will put that in the description below and it is also found on my website under the shop now button. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment below, make sure you share it with your friends. And if you want to extend an extra thank you, you can shop our store or use any of the affiliate links in the description below. I also have my affiliate links on my website under the shop now page. You just scroll to the bottom and it shows you all the products that I use and love, including the green stock garden, my Vigo raised bed garden, and we have more to come.